Welcome to St. Mark Ocean Park Family Youth and Children Time. We are thrilled to have you with us as we explore the Apostles' Creed online. In-person gathering has started with our Footsteps to Faith for Children and Youth on Sundays at 10 a.m. in the Christian Education Center. The Creed says, I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. Today's lesson is called, Jesus, Born of the Virgin Mary. Jesus is born. Many people and animals are part of Jesus' birth. Can you name them? Well, yes, Mary's a good place to start. Let's put her over here by the baby. And Joseph? Yes, let's put him on the other side. Yes, the story tells us that Mary rode a donkey. Let's put the donkey here beside Mary. And a goat? Well, let's put the goat in the pen. And on Joseph's side, we'll put the calf. There we go. What else is missing? Oh, an angel. We'll put the angel of the Lord up above, watching over them. Yeah, let's put in some sheep. Let's put in one, two. Oh, there it is, three sheep. And if we're going to have sheep, let's have a shepherd. Who else showed up? Oh, the three wise men or kings from the east. We'll put them over here. And you say they rode a camel? Okay, let's put the camel. No, let's put him over here where you can see him better. And I bet if you read Matthew chapter 1 verses 18 to 24 or Luke chapter 2, maybe you could add some more names of people and animals. So Jesus is Mary's child. Mary was a virgin living in Nazareth, and she was engaged to a man named Joseph. Mary was a young person who was not married. God told Mary she was going to have a baby. Mary asked, How is this possible? And God said, I can make something out of nothing. Mary said, Let it be done to me according to your word. Mary said yes to something impossible. Let's pray that we can be like Mary. Jesus, help me be like Mary. Help me to listen to God and help me to say yes when God asks me to do things, even if it seems impossible. The next lines of the Apostles' Creed say, He, meaning Jesus, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. Crucified means to be nailed to a cross as a form of punishment. Criminals were nailed to crosses a long time ago to scare people so they wouldn't do bad things. Jesus was not a criminal. He never did anything wrong, yet he was nailed to a cross. Pontius Pilate was a leader who allowed Jesus to be put on a cross even though there was no proof that Jesus did anything wrong. We look to the cross to remember that God chose to experience even this scary part of life so that we know we're not alone even in our scary things. God is with us. God is always with us. I wonder what a cross looks like. Well, I think the cross looks like a hug. If we were to stand the cross up on the ground, and if the bottom of the cross were to become legs, and the sides of the cross were to become arms with hands, and the top of the cross to become a person's head, would that cross look like someone reaching out for a hug? The cross is how God showed God's love for the world. It's like a hug from God that stretches around the world and around our hearts. Why don't you go give someone a hug now? And I pray that I can be like Jesus. And remember that even when Jesus suffered under Pontius Pilate, God, you are with him and you are with me, even in the times that scare me. Father Almighty, 
creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended on the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit. Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Amen. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended. He will come to judge the living and the dead.